nitwittians, we got another cool GPU video in store for you guys. A uh, couple, quick, couple quick things I want to tell you. Normally this comes to 1660 Super, but we just did the video for the 6600 XT. That's why it's still in there. It's the same procedure for removing that card as it is for this one. If you're wondering about the drivers and stuff that you have to do to switch over to the 6600 or 6700 XT, watch the 6600 XT video. Or sorry. Yeah, that's correct. 6600 XT video and that'll have how to remove the NVIDIA drivers and install the uh, AMD drivers. I am not going to go through the driver install again for this video, but we have the 6600, sorry, we got the 6700 XT and we are going to be comparing to that to the 1660 Super. And uh, let me jump into this benchmark really quick. And our first benchmark was 6,122. Our first GPU score was 37.85 and our second was 33.67. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to do the upgrade with the video card really quick and then we'll get rocking and rolling. This does have the 700 watt power supply upgrade if you're wondering about that. And if you're wondering and you want to see how to do that, go ahead and watch that video. And that uh, is a separate video from this as well. All right, guys, I'm going to get the power off, get it unplugged, and we will start from there. All right, guys, go ahead and flip your computer around to the rear, and we are going to go ahead and take off this uh, left side panel or the glass side panel. Discard that guy off to the side. And then going to go ahead and rotate your PC. The first thing I like to do is disconnect the power. And get that up and out of our way. Second thing is reach in here and unclick your graphics card. There's a little thing. Sometimes it gets caught. So you might have to kind of push forward on your graphics card a little bit and unsnap it. And then we are going to need a Phillips number two to undo the two screws that are right up here. If you guys can see what I'm talking about. So these two screws right here. and reach in, hold all the way to the back and wiggle and jiggle and pull our graphics card out. And that is our, our 6600 XT pulled. Set that off to the side. And then we're gonna grab our 6700 XT and we're gonna repeat the same process and we're gonna come in here and feed her on home. Make sure she snaps, she does. All right, so we need a six pin, which we'll grab from this first cable and we'll pull this other cable out of here and we will grab the six plus two and we'll combine them. So the side that the pin is the farthest on, this clip is the side that it gets combined on. And then go ahead and send her on home. Make sure she clips in. And that is our power. Uh, other than our last two screws that we got to put in here, which are right here. We are ready to get rocking and rolling. All right, get your side panel back on. Come and meet me back for a benchmark and we'll compare the two and see how well this 6700 XT does against the 1660 Super, y'all. Nitwittians, we got the benchmark done and this was a TimeSpy DirectX 12 benchmark and we scored 11,837 and our first GPU score, our FPS score was 82.72 our second graphics score, uh, 73.74 FPS. Our score difference is looking at about 5,713 points. So as an upgrade from this to this, I would say this is an awesome upgrade if you can get the card for MS MSRP. Uh, other than that, you know, we do have this, the 2070 Super still left and the 3070 that we're going to be testing. So maybe those will be a contender and we'll have to see. But uh, this is a very viable upgrade. I would give this two thumbs up of approval. But anyways, guys, you got any questions, concerns, comments, throw them down below. Uh, of course, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And this is TechNitWin, and I'm done, y'all.